And welcome back. We're about to venture off into our fourth and final segment for the morning. It is Open Your Eyes and it's a fun Friday and the fun continues now. <laughs> Reason being is because we've got Kaya Katus in and she's got her crew. Uh, the Fort Animal Sea Recycling Club High School Series concluded yesterday and we've got the winners in to tell us about it. Kaya, good morning. Kaya is in with us, Kaya Katus. We've got, let me see here. We've got the most outstanding male in James Lozano. We've got the most outstanding female in Gabriel, Gabrielli or Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. And we've got the second place female in Miss Vernon. Iseni. Iseni? Iseni. Mm, very unique. I like that. I like that. Guys, good morning and welcome. Morning. How are you morning. feeling this morning? Good. You feel nice? <laughs> After a long ride yesterday, you're feeling good. And Iseni? Nervous. You nervous? nervous. <laughs> James, you're nervous, man. You're nervous. You're nervous. You're nervous. You're nervous. You're nervous. You're nervous. You guys, good morning. I want to know what kind of twisting Kai did to bring this. <laughs> what you did, Kai? What you did? Well, they deserved it. Yeah. I mean, for the entire month of May, every Thursday, these guys came out their race. They did their best and they came out on top. So yeah. they deserve some TV yeah. time to yeah. show themselves. Yeah. Kaya, four years ago, you decided that you wanted to do something uh, through Sea Ray Cycling Club mm -hmm. to get younger people involved in cycling, get them ready, uh, give them a taste of what it's like to, to uh, cycle competitively. Um, tell me a bit about where you are now, four years later. Um, the ultimate goal was to get more females mm -hmm. involved in cycling. And um, the female numbers are still, is still small. However, it has started to grow, mm -hmm. and even more so this year. Mm -hmm. So we have come a long way, mm -hmm. and in the male category, um, I believe that we have managed to populate the junior field a whole mm -hmm. lot more okay. mm -hmm. than four years ago. And working with high school students specifically, um, you know, you're, you're building a, another round of competition for them. They compete in all other sports. Mm -hmm. uh, but cycling is different because it's, it's more individual than team. Uh, how do you work with them to be able to have them be ready to compete? Um, we look at it as individual because it's each person pedaling their own bike. Yeah. But we do try to introduce the team aspect to them from this level okay. as opposed to having it be solely individual and then when they get to the higher level they realize oh there is a team concept to it yeah so what we do to to include that is have a, a best female team and a most outstanding school which goes by accumulated points from each individual yeah. tying together and yeah. getting the most points for their school so that's how we kind of introduce the team concept yeah. but um for the most part, it is uh, each individual person pedaling their bike. Mm. All right, let's, let's hear from you guys now. So you're in first form. Yes. So this is your first opportunity to participate in the series. What made you want to participate? Well, I, um, I train with my uncle for the, on the weekends, my uncle Ray on the weekends, and my cousins, Ray Sanyan, and my brother, Goran. So mm -hmm. I... I was ready for it, so I just mm -hmm. wanted you to You were see looking how. forward to a competition in, yeah. in racing. Yeah. And Isani? <laughs> Let's tell everybody to go on, Isani. This is the first time that yeah. um, my teacher asked me if I'm interested in a ride, and I tell her, I don't know. But I could try. You're an athlete? Try. You play other sports? Yes. What do you play? play? Football, softball, basketball. Oh. All around that. Run track. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so then you, you were fit. You had the stamina. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you never tried cycling and then you just no, got into it I because just, the teacher asked you? Yes. Um, they had a novice race and I participated and I came in fifth. So I say if I could do it from eight miles to so finish line, yeah. when I finish, well, continue, do it. So. Yeah. so, What's it like compared to all the other sports that you do? <sighs> well, this one that I like... Um, just <laughs> you tough. and you're yeah, tough, like you or your bike and like <laughs> changing gear, like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Is it a lot of mental strength? Like you got to push yourself too? Yes. Because like if like you have so much people with you, like it really like it hard for you to move wrong. Mm -hmm. So like you just have to focus and then like if 
you're the ride and then like um people are behind you and you know that they call behind and then you have to pick up speed too yeah, so yeah. yeah what's your what's your favorite part about competing well i would say making new friends especially in this we um got to meet other people from the other high schools yeah yeah, yeah. nice yeah. right and, and what what gabrielle is not mentioning um she was the only person, not only in a female category, but overall to go through the entire series undefeated. What? Yeah. Every time she lined up, she won. So just most outstanding. You're, you're competitive or you're just that good? <laughs> Which well, one is it? I train for it, so you I that. like that. Push you put in the work. Yeah. Now, I mean, are you surprised when you, when you get to the series, you start uh, racing against the other girls there? and the other schools as well, and you realize that you are above the rest. Um, was that intimidating for you? Because you know you have to keep it up the entire yeah. series? Yeah. I had to train throughout the series. Um, I would go to Marianne Jones during the week because I couldn't go up to my aunt's house, so I had to train here with my brother. Mm -hmm. I just had to keep, it, keep up the training and so I could finish off the series strong. Yeah, nice. James. A your turn. <laughs> Let's hear from you, bro. Um, how long have you been doing this? What got you into it? Mm. I started right last year. You know, the CK series. I go, you see, and they say, all right, all right, coach introduced me. Just ask me if I want, if I want red. Can I play different sports too? Oh, okay, yeah. what other sports you play? Softball. Mm -hmm. I play leave it basketball. Now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Same school. Same school. You want, yeah, you want this. Yeah. yeah. And so you, you got into the cycling race last year, the series last year. Small. Um, what was your first impression? <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> Why? I raced them, I think, because I'm a red against experienced people. Okay. People who got more experience in a, in, a, in a racing more than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then when I start red and I start win, then I just, I just get more confident yeah. and I try work harder. Mm -hmm. And then I may get third last year overall. My first series. And then that rate that make I, make I just fall in love with cycling, you know? Real. So since last series to now, have you been putting in time preparing? Yeah. What's your workout time? My workout time. Hmm. Well, during the week, that. I rate them around Jones during the week mostly. Every yeah. evening after school. Every, yes, sir. Uh, for Saturdays, they got, this, they got this boom race where I just start ready, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I go take part, you know, if I try to put in extra miles. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I would have go with my friend. We would have tried to go to Democracy or Kahiga. He got people that heights, so we would have tried to go to heights. Ride to heights. So, yeah. <laughs> I need right what, do you, what, I swear. <laughs> what do you like so much about it? You know, you got a taste of it last year yeah, just because yeah. your coach pushed you. Um, but what do you like about it to come back? Hmm. New, new, com new, new competition. Yeah. yeah. New people for race. Mm -hmm. New people for beat. Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, why, why is James Lozano the most outstanding male? What um, makes him that? Looking at James's growth from last year to this year, um, this year James came for the win, but in cycling he got his first taste of <laughs> what it feels like to, to crash and get some of your skin taken oh, wow. off Man. in a race. So the second, was it the second or the third week? The mm, second, the second week, week, James crashed out, um, coming in for one of the, the final heats where he would have gotten more points and he ended up with only one points because he ah. came last after a crash. So that, that right there took him off the top two steps of the podium right away. And regardless of this, James came back every week and he was determined and he tried his best to not only compete in the races, but to win all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To try to make his way back up from seventh place back onto the podium. Nice. And watching him for the last three weeks doing this, he definitely showed that he was the most outstanding male of the series. Nice. How would you place overall? Third. All right. So next year, come back again? First. Up top. Uh -huh. Up top. Do you see yourself in the, in the, in the cross country in the next few Worse. years? Winning. 
I you guys, wish you could see the confidence in which he you, said you, that yeah, just now. It was like, how what? dare you ask me that yeah. question? Where do you yeah, think this, this is going? This is exactly what we're trying to build from the yeah. Serious Cycling Club. Yeah. We're trying to get these youths involved at this age, at the high school level, and build them up, you know, coming up through the, the high school level, the junior category, and eventually, you know, to riding the, the yeah. biggest race across country. But yeah. if you guys notice, James gives everything his own name, the Kaya Series, the Boom Race. He's actually <laughs> referring to <laughs> the, the, the Serious Cycling Club. We actually have a race on the Boom Road every Thursday and Saturday morning. Yeah. Okay. Um, on Thursdays, it's called the Full Trottle because it's just all out gas full speed yeah. from mm -hmm. one end of Boom Road to the next and back. Um, but on Saturdays, we have more um, inclusive categories. We started just this month a uh, female novice category to include these young ladies, yeah. mm -hmm. which they do participate in. Wow. Yeah. And um, we will also start to have uh, a male novice category for guys like James who are not yet at that level of competition. Yeah. So um, that's what we do through the Boom Road on Saturdays. Yeah. You know what I'm getting from this, Kaya, is that <coughs> this is not about series indeed. This is about these young people and trying to push this, push this thing over the edge. What's the conversation like uh, following the, or actually seeing the fruits of what you guys are actually sowing? Well, um, we, are, we are definitely um, we are upholding our mandate as a club yeah. to further um, better the sport of cycling in our country. Mm -hmm. um, we want to see the sport grow. We want to see it blossom. We want to see new people coming into the sport. We want to see the female field grow. Yeah. And um, there's only one way to do it. And this is the way, you know, start at the high school level, bring them into the sport, promote it, you know, take Give them people, a taste like James. Take and people like Isenia and James <laughs> who mm -hmm. are from different sports and, you know, bring them into cycling and try our best to get them bikes, get them equipment, you know, get them mm -hmm. what they need to be able yeah. to be competitive. That's my question, because I know in the beginning you're using borrowed bikes to, to have them use to race. Is that still the phase that you're at now? Um, well, what we did from the Serious Cycling Club, we went and solicited sponsorships and we bought six bikes initially. And yeah. now we have 10 bikes. Wow. Okay. So we have 10 club bikes owned by the Serious Cycling Club. Mm -hmm. And this is what we use to um, lend to the youths. Yeah. They use it to train in the evenings at Marianne Jones. They use it to go ride the Saturday oh. races. They use it for the competition. And... Um, we have a lot of youths, but we only have 10 bikes, so that means that, you know, they have to share. Yeah. So at some point or the other, someone is going to be using the bike that you're on. So the bikes are, um, they have quick release, which means that they can be adjusted easily, you know, the seat height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have regular pedals that you don't need cleats, you just come out in a regular tennis shoe. Yeah. Because it's just for you to get started, yeah. Yeah. you know, and this is, this is our job, to get them introduced and to get them started and hopefully they have sponsors out there who see these kids and say, yeah. okay, potential. I want to yeah. invest in this one. I want to invest in the next rising you know, star. I, I got to ask one question yeah. here to a girl. Are, do you now have the goal to compete in uh, cross country as well and one day go up against Kaya? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that yeah, smile! Yeah, like, you, like, yeah. you mean like ready to beat her, right? Wrong <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, this is exactly what we want, yeah. you know? Yeah. This is exactly yeah. where we want to get. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it would be great to line up in a race with 20 Belizean women. Yeah, yeah. You know. that's, true. that's true, that's true. And are you seeing equal growth in both male and female participation in the series? More in the male, okay. definitely more in the male. You always will have more males who are interested in anything sports related and, and yeah. more guys sticking to it. You have guys who aren't even very athletic, but they just want to be involved in something and they yeah. come out and they participate. Yeah. yeah. Then again, you live a, a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Definitely. So that's good. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So the series is over. We have uh, most outstanding male, James Lozano, most outstanding, Gabriel Gabriel, and second place overall, Iseni Vernon. Uh, these are the ones that are here and we must make mention of Wesley College. They have, for four consecutive years, won the best female team and the most outstanding school, mm -hmm. which means that the participants in both the male and female categories accumulated more points um, put together than all the other schools. Mm -hmm. So Wesley has been doing this consecutively for the past four years. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to say a big thank you for all the participating schools. We have SCA, SJC, EPR, Wesley, um, Gwen Liz, Maud Williams, IT vet mm -hmm. and um, say the Vernon. I believe these are the eight schools that were out there this year. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to say a big thank you to uh, Jason Badillo, 
donated some power aid for the series yesterday. Yeah. And um, we had Mr. David Banner, who is my sponsor as a cyclist and also helps me out financially with anything that I put my hands on for the youth. So um, he purchased the trophies and the medals. Nice. Nice. Um, to Mr. Anthony Mala from Smart for purchasing the shirts. Yeah. And um, the National Sports Council, Mr. Ian Jones, for having us, um, giving us the use of the facility yeah. as a sponsor every Thursday afternoon. So um, all the people that were out there helping me, all the guys from the Serie D banner cycling team, thank you. Um, you know, these series, it looks like me because I'm the face, but there are a whole group of people behind the scenes yeah. that make sure everything gets done properly. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for coming in and congratulations. And uh, I guess there's a comeback next year as well. Everybody's going to defend their title. <laughs> you don't know. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle actually has the opportunity to go for, for Pete because she's in first form I and know. she's already Whoa. on top. Yeah, so. that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Except it's is ready to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you know. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to wrap up yeah, the we, show, we though. We've got to wrap things up. It was a very interesting yet fun Friday. We got started with uh, Bellican Beer celebrating their 50th anniversary uh, to moving on to uh, cooking up a storm inside the kitchen there with Grace Flavor with a beat. Then we actually learned about uh, how our prospects did in the bodybuilding, that international bodybuilding that uh, took place a few weeks ago, to now meeting our best high school prospects in cycling. We've got to go though. If you've got any questions, any concerns, you can always drop us a line at oye at channel5belize.com. You can also drop me a line at marleni underscore OYE at channel5belize.com. Find us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ and on Instagram at OYE Belize. And remember to tune in on Monday morning at 6.30 when you open your eyes. To start your morning right, as per usual, keep your eyes, your minds, and your hearts open. We'll see you soon. Enjoy your day and weekend, Belize.